Welcome to how to install McAfee's FireScan Enterprise for Windows using ePolicy Orchestrator. Before starting to deploy to your endpoints, it's best to check the system's requirements. FireScan is supported on both Windows Workstation and Server operating systems, from Windows XP through Windows 8.1 and from Windows 2003 through Windows 2012 R2 Server. For the latest supported environments, including hardware, check the Knowledge Base article KB51111, and the link is provided below. We have several methods to install Viruscan 8.8 into EPO's master repository. If you're using a licensed copy of ePolicy Orchestrator, you'll be prompted to supply your license key. If you check the Enable Automatic Product Installation box, all of your point products will automatically be installed to the master repository. But if you skip this step, or if you're using an evaluation copy, we have several other methods to obtain Viruscan. For the Evaluation and Trial Download site, the link is provided below. If you have a grant for licensed product, use the Grant Download site. Today for our demo, we're going to be using the Software Manager feature of EPO. It can be used for licensed as well as evaluation product. Let's get started. I've opened EPO to start the installation of Viruscan Enterprise into the master repository. This is a new EPO server and we'll be using the menu to go to the Software Manager seen under Software. Now I'm using a licensed EPO server and my software not checked in is located under the licensed area. You'd be using the software not checked in evaluation area if under evaluation. Let's click on licensed and I want to find Viruscan 8.8 in my list of products. Select Viruscan 8.8. You see it's not checked in and I'm going to select the check in all option. Accept the license agreement and click OK. The different components for Viruscan 8.8 are going into the master repository as well as the management extension area. The extension area provides reporting and the ability for EPO to actually manage the product like the policy area. Notice that patch 4 is incorporated into this installation and we're also going to have virus scan reports available to us. We'll give this a moment to install. The installation is complete. Let's check. I'm going to use menu and I'll go to the software area and click on master repository and I can see that Viruscan Enterprise is installed into my master repository in the current branch. Another area to check menu and we'll go under software for extensions. We can see the extensions for Viruscan have also been installed that allows us to administer the product and we also have the reporting area. I'll use my shortcut here for queries and reports drop down under the McAfee Group's Viruscan and indeed we have a lot of reports that have already been supplied for us once we get activity in here. Let's go on to deployment. I've opened the menu in EPO and I'd like to show you two methods for doing product deployment. The traditional is to use the client task catalog and the second method we'll use is the product deployment. Let's get started with the client task catalog. So I select a client's task catalog and initially we're talking to the McAfee agent and we can do the task for product deployment and create a new task. Let's call this task deploy virus scan. Under the target platforms we have windows selected and the products and components will select Viruscan 8.8. Hit save at the bottom to save the task. Now let's go to systems tree. The systems tree in EPO is for your client machines. It is a hierarchy. Initially you start with my organization and then you include your groups as well as your individual machines and subgroups on the tree. If you assign a policy or a task at the top of the tree everyone will get that policy or task. Or you may assign a task at a particular subgroup along the tree 
for only those machines or even an individual machine to get a policy or task. So let's assign our deploy virus scan at this level of the Dallas group of workstations. I click on my assign client tasks and under my actions do new client task assignment. Of my product category, initially I'm speaking to the McAfee agent. I'm going to do a product deployment and there's the task we created, Deploy Virus Scan Enterprise. I'll click the Next button and we're able to schedule that task. Normally deployments are done once or immediately. In this scenario, let's use once. I can pre-schedule this task to go off at a light time of day. Let's use a night time here. I'm choosing the day and I'll go choose to have this done at 7 p.m. And since I'm doing it to a group, and it may be a larger group, I could enable randomization so all the machines would not get this same package at the same time. If it was a large group, I might do it over two hours here. And in case those machines weren't on at the time that I send this out, I'm going to give it a delay, and I'll hit Save. When I come back to my systems tree area, you can see under assigned task, I have deploy virus scan enterprise, and it is at this node, meaning this group of workstations. And they will have the virus scan installed on that date at that time. Let's use the second option to show an alternate way to do deployment. This is a one step or one page method for product deployment. Let's select new deployment and I'm going to call this one Deploy and I'll spell it out this time to give it a unique name, Virus Scan. And I'm going to say send out Virus Scan regularly and what we mean by that. In our type of deployment here we have Continuous or Fixed. I'm going to leave this on Continuous. If I assign Continuous to a place on my tree, and if new clients come into the, either that uh, container, that group, or based on a tag, say a tag because they are all um, a particular manufacturer or a type of machine, I can create tags for that and automatically have this installed. The package I'm going to pick here is Viruscan and I can select the systems. This is like that client task assignment area. So in my organization I could find my individual groups but in this instance I'm going to do it for the Dallas group meaning all the subgroups associated with Dallas in this hierarchy are going to get this deployment too. And if I add any new machines to any of those groupings they would get this deployed. Now I could run immediately or I could do once and schedule it as I did on the prior example, but let's let this run immediately. With all of my parameters in there, I'm going to hit Save. There'll be a progress on this area here showing which machines are getting the installation and their status. We can also take a look at what is happening on an individual machine. I'm in a Windows 8 machine. I'm using the systems tray and right clicking on the M Shield icon for the McAfee agent status monitor. I can see in my status monitor that it received a message from EPO to deploy virus scan. And it started with those individual packages and it's installing right now. You may note that it will install the software itself for Viruscan and then it will follow up by fetching the latest Daten engine, which is an efficient way of doing the install. Back into EPO, we can see that all of our machines have successfully installed Viruscan. There's a few other places we can check. If we go to our dashboards, I've selected a dashboard for Viruscan trending data and I see that I have five machines with the current DAT. We can also look at our systems tree and check any one of our systems individually. Let's look at that Windows 8 machine and I've opened it up here and I can see the products that it has installed include Viruscan 8.8. Below here I can see the details of Viruscan 8.8. 8. 
it does have patch 4, the current patch, as well as the engine and DAT that are installed for this machine. That concludes how to install VirusScan through EPO.